Welcome back to another Champion Deep Dive, and today we're talking about Nimrod. He's got Armor Up, Power Drain, Power Gain, Energy Resistance Reduction, Unstoppable, Regen, and a special two that has some shocking results. Let's get into it. Nimrod joins the contest with Bleed and Poison Immunity. Also, Armor Breaks cannot remove Armor Ups and they suffer a negative 100% potency. All Nimrod's attacks from basic to specials deal energy damage instead of physical, giving you a way around physical resistance on champions and nodes. When fighting a mutant, he gains immunity to ability accuracy modification. Now, Nimrod has adaptive protocols. He gains one protocol charge per unique ability triggered during special attacks, when gaining armor up, when the opponent activates prowess, or regen. This has a max of 10 charges. At the beginning of a fight, Nimrod starts in Titan Protocol. This swaps every 11 seconds and when landing a fourth light attack in a basic combo. Nimrod gains one armor up buff on start, when the protocol timer expires, and when performing a well-timed block. All personal armor ups provide increased armor rating for 20 seconds. Now, Titan Protocol provides 20% damage reduction on all incoming critical hits. This has a 25% potency per armor up. When the opponent launches a special attack, Nimrod inflicts a cowardice debuff, reducing special attack damage by 40% for 16 seconds. As for Blitz Protocol, this provides increased attack rating with a 25% potency bump per armor up. When the opponent launches a special attack, Nimrod inflicts a power drain, draining 150% of a bar of power over 15 seconds. Also, his attacks remove one prowess and or regeneration, replacing it with a shock debuff dealing energy damage over one second. Now, the Eradicate Protocol is activated at 10 charges when launching a special attack is both Titan and Blitz protocols for 16 seconds. If Nimrod gains 10 charges while in Eradicate protocol, he consumes the charges and refreshes the duration. If you happen to come across a Nimrod on defense, be aware that if the attacker fills a bar of power, Nimrod inflicts a passive special lock of 1.5 seconds. Now, let's check out his special attacks. The Special One with Titan Protocol active, Nimrod gains an energized buff, increasing combat power rate by 45% for 20 seconds and maxes out at one stack. While in Blitz Protocol, on hit, inflict an energy vulnerability passive, reducing a large portion of the opponent's energy resistance for 20 seconds, maxing at one stack. Keep in mind, with all Nimrod's attacks being energy damage, this gives him a significant bump in damage. With the Special 2, with Titan Protocol active, Nimrod gains an unstoppable buff for 5 seconds. The duration is paused until the special attack ends. While in Blitz Protocol, each hit inflicts a passive shock dealing energy damage over 2 seconds. This is where Nimrod will be dealing the bulk of his damage. The Special 3 With Titan Protocol active, Nimrod gains self-repair, regenerating 25% of missing health over 15 seconds. This effect ends early if he's stunned. While in Blitz Protocol, he deals a massive burst of energy damage based on the opponent's missing max health. Keep in mind, 
When in Eradicate Protocol, you have the benefits of both Titan and Blitz Protocols. For example, a special one will give Nimrod an energized buff while also inflicting an energy vulnerability passive on the opponent. Not only that, Nimrod gains protocol charges for each unique effect, allowing you to double up on a single special attack. Now, let's check out the signature ability. When awakened, Nimrod gains zero tolerance. This is a passive ability, where Eradicate Protocol grants unblockable special attacks and increases the potency of the duration of special attack effects by 35%. This includes longer shots, energize, energy vulnerability, and unstoppable. If he's attacking against a mutant, Nimrod's abilities generate an additional armor up whenever gaining a personal armor up which also adds to your protocol charges. If defending, instead, gain an additional armor up per mutant on the attacker's team. Now, let's take him out for a spin in the champion rotation. For a damage focus, you're going to want to concentrate on building protocol charges, armor ups, and placing energy vulnerability. The latter two are gonna be the source of your damage. As you start in Titan Protocol, concentrate on your well-timed blocks to stack armor ups while building up to your special one. If you can, try to build beyond a special one but below a special two. Now, keep an eye on your protocol timer. The sweet spot is gonna be launching your special attack right as the timer is about to expire. If you timed it right, you'll have gained the benefits of launching in Titan mode, but also finishing the attack in Blitz thus gaining an energized buff while inflicting the opponent with an energy vulnerability without being in eradicate mode. Not only that, you'll also gain two protocol charges during that special attack. From there, finish your next combo with a light attack to switch back to Titan Protocol to continue stacking armor ups and protocol charges. Build up to the special two, and at 10 protocol charges, launch the attack. It doesn't matter what mode you're in currently, as you'll immediately activate the Eradicate Protocol, gaining both the Unstoppable buff and inflicting shock as well. You'll also gain the Potency bonus on attack per armor up. If you manage to launch this while Energy Vulnerability was active, that gives you a significant bump in damage output. From here, build up two and launch the special one. And because you're in Eradicate, you'll easily get both the Energized buff and inflict energy vulnerability. Now, from here, you can rinse and repeat with the special two, or you can build back up to 10 protocol charges, stack on armor ups, and launch the special three. This deals a significant amount of damage, heals Nimrod, and activates the Eradicate protocol. Now, Nimrod has a good amount of playstyle options to choose from, depending on the opponent and nodes. What would you do with him? Sound off in the comments below. Now, let's check out some best uses. Mutants are hands down the best use case here, especially ones that gain prowess or have healing abilities. Keeping in mind that mutants will allow Nimrod to gain charges and armor ups much faster, and also keep Eradicate Protocol active longer. Aggression Prowess nodes will give Nimrod consistent protocol charges as the opponent gains prowess. Also, his attacks in Blitz Protocol will not only remove those prowess, but replace them with shock debuffs as well. In the same way, Aggression Regen is also a great way to mitigate healing on the opponent while gaining protocol charges and doing damage instead. As seen in the champion rotation, Nimrod excels with the Double Edge and Liquid Courage Masteries. His immunity to bleed and poison mitigate that would-be damage, and his regen on Special 3 helps recover that lost health from recoil, while juicing up his attack significantly. With Energize on his side, his increased power gain takes advantage of Power Shield nicely by juicing up your special attack damage by 400%. Now, while his armor ups are largely used as a way to increase potency of attacks in his loot, 
They're also quite potent and long duration armor ups, capable of mitigating a lot of damage, especially if the cowardice debuff is active. You can block many special attacks at very little cost to your health. This also allows you to take advantage of your unstoppable buffs as well, by overpowering the opponent with aggressive plays, utilizing your heavy attack, which pairs nicely with the energized buff. Now, there are more than just these uses for Nimrod out there. Are you already theory crafting? Where would you use them? Sound off in the comments and let's discuss. Now, let's check out some notable synergies. We are many. With Nimrod and Sentinel on the team, robots gain 225 attack rating for each additional Nimrod or Sentinel on the team. By the way, Anyone want to drop a guess in the comments on who that mystery box will be? Resistance is futile. With Sentinel on the team, Nimrod gains up to 25% armor rating based on missing health. With robots, if a robot is defeated, they gain a self-repair cross-fight effect to be consumed the next time they enter a fight, regenerating 15% of their missing health over 20 seconds. This effect ends early if stunned. Advanced Intelligence With Ultron or Ultron Prime on the team, Nimrod reduces opponent purify and nullify ability accuracy by 50%. Robots gain a 50% chance to inflict a stun debuff lasting 1.5 seconds when performing a well-timed block on non-contact attacks. And finally, Terminated With Kitty Pride or Storm on the team, Nimrod's unblockable special attacks create one armor up per defeated mutant in a quest. Up to five, feeding your damage and eradicate mode, giving Nimrod access to even more attack potency, even against non-mutants. And you can keep track of how many armor ups you get at the beginning of the fight. With Storm, if failing to activate a stun during a special one, she gains an indefinite dormant prowess that initializes when launching a special two each increasing special attack damage by 100% for 20 seconds. This maxes out at 5 stacks. With Kitty Pride, her heavy attacks are guaranteed critical hits, with a cooldown of 8 seconds. Keep in mind, guaranteed critical attacks give Kitty Pride 2 additional prowess. This gives her access to phase with just one attack. Now, did you see a synergy that sparked your interest? Thinking of a new synergy team? Let us know your thoughts below and let's discuss. Thank you for watching this champion deep dive for Nimrod. Are you ready? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you like the video and want to see more, click subscribe, like, comment, and share. And remember, we'll see you in the battleground.